surge in trade to boost an economy still reeling from the 2014 crude oil price collapse was always going to be the focus of President João Lorenzo's talks with South African President Jacob Zuma. South Africa is the sub-Saharan Africa's most developed economy. Angola is one of South Africa's biggest trading partners on the continent. In 2016 alone, exports exceeded 500,000 US dollars, while imports from Angola, mostly crude oil, amounted to over a million US dollars. Angola and South Africa have fed responsibility in leading the way of the regional integration process and should stand within the SADC framework as the engines of the new impetus which we wish to impress upon the South African cooperation. Such an integration, in addition, has the political purpose of strengthening security, peace and good liberalness relations among the countries. The two countries have also agreed on a visa waiver program. This means citizens of Angola and South Africa traveling to each other's countries will be able to enter for a period of 90 days per annum, provided that each visit does not exceed 30 days in total. The two nations have also agreed to renew and strengthen bonds to ensure socio-economic development. A number of trade deals were signed. We welcome the agreements that have just been signed. They are all critical to enhancing bilateral cooperation. The visa waiver for ordinary passport holders will facilitate easy movement of people between our respective countries. It will not only add significant impetus to tourism, but will also further promote people-to-people -people contacts. Our friendship and solidarity relations are faced now with new challenges, especially in economic and social fields. It's now a moment to join efforts in order to develop and consolidate our respective economies and work for more effective economic integration in order to facilitate the free movement of people and goods, thus enhancing trade relations. The two presidents also noted the developments in Zimbabwe. We have taken note of the latest developments in Zimbabwe leading to the resignation of President Robert Gabriel Mugabe. We salute former President Mugabe for his sterling contribution to the liberation struggle of Africa and our region. We congratulate President Munangakwa on his inauguration and wish him well as he steers the country through this transition period. Zuma and Lorenzo have also affirmed their commitment to working together in pursuit of sustainable peace, stability and economic development of the region. Yulisandra Melasichiti and Pretoria, South Africa.